So we just finished rotating the motor, make sure we're hearing the compression, make sure we're hearing the intake charge coming in. You can hear everything operating the suction and the and the exhaust pressure coming out. We're gonna go ahead and tighten up the spark plug. We had them loose so we can let the compression escape. We'll go ahead and get these tightened up. Now that we got that tightened up, we're going to go ahead and get the valve covers on and put the timing covers on and continue to put this thing together. This one got a extra bolt from the back. I got a box full of spare parts for this car, unfortunately. That's how great it is. Extra motor, extra everything. That's the valve cover tightened up on that side. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Y'all need to see that. And then we'll get to this timing cover. Alright, got the valve covers on. Got the valve covers. Yeah, I do have the valve covers on. They're all tight. Spark plugs are all tight. Timing covers are on. Working on getting this belt tensioner up on here. And these little the spring is the goofiest thing you'd ever see on a belt tensioner. I got this one started. I got this one up here started. And I gotta get this one started. But you gotta, you gotta move it in. You need the help of a tool. Maybe a screwdriver. Get a screwdriver in here. Try to push it down in place. Size. All right. Now 
attention. We're gonna throw the our mount bouncer on there too in a minute. And just keep putting parts on. What I'm on is got this pipe that goes goes runs back there. It's kind of kind of a booger to get on. It's gonna be my next big project. I've got to take a bolt out the back side the the head for this one right here. But um yeah we're gonna get that sucker in there too. Won't be long. Alright, now I got a lot done. Got the intake on. All the coil packs, wiring. I'm waiting on the new breather element. This I broke it. So I'll show you in a minute. Uh yeah. Just, that's temporarily on just kind of getting everything in place this is this goes down here no big deal got to put a water tank in and put the front end on and uh, we'll be ready to uh, get this thing off of this rack finally I need this thing going it's been here way too long so this is the piece I broke It's very brittle, so I've got another one coming. But yeah, took the time today to uh, get all the wiring figured, put some new vacuum lines, power steering lines on, fuel lines on. Yep, making progress. Just got a, uh, just got to get the front end on now, and uh, should be back on the road soon. Since I broke this breather tube, I got this giant heat shrink. I'm gonna heat shrink it on there and see if that works. Put it all in place and put the heat gun on it and see if I can. This is three quarter inch heat shrink for giant cables. You can see a little heat shrink tube. Did a decent job. And uh, might end up leaving it like that if everything works out okay. And uh, I do have the replacement part on auto, but I just need to get this thing running. Lock carrier being installed. Three, two, one. So we are completely together now on top the water tank there's another hose that comes off the lock carrier into that everything is on we have to remove this out of there so we can put the lock carrier on there that's our next step if you want to take pick that up y'all want to see the struggle bus because i'm gonna do it by myself but uh yeah so this is basically the last piece to go up here we got a little cap that goes there so let me get set up and I'm gonna put the block carry on Let's go get the bolts. 
still on top. Well, they popped out. Just drop all the bolts. Pre-stage these bolts. If I can get them in my hands. Put the bolts on the fender right there. Pick it up. Set it up there. Get a bolt started. Then we got these bolts to go in. Get it all bolted in, and we'll see what's happening next. Check out the size of the connectors and the wires for the fan. You got two fans down there. A few things to plug in. Get everything kind of back in its place. Plug the headlights in. Get everything else hooked up on this side and we'll go to the bottom. All right, these all hooked to the bumper. We'll put that on a little bit. But we got power steering hoses. They have to be hooked on. Power steering. AC lines. Hook to this. AC line. Transmission lines. Hook those up. And then I can actually start the car. I don't need the bumper on to start it. I do want to hear it run. It's, uh, it's been a long time since this car ran. The Hurricane Ida came through and busted the door up. 
you see the dent there and the scratches scratches all over the bumper right here this door this big garage door here failed and uh, the car was sitting where all those tires are and that door just beat the crap out the side of the car not too bad though it's actually could have been worse so we are pretty, this car was broken before the hurricane it was just kind of sitting but i'm pretty excited to get it running this is a really cool car it's you know convertible it's got decent power handles well and uh yeah, I'm pretty excited. So, it's coming soon. All right, everything's hooked up. Really not much to do anymore. I'm gonna pull a vacuum and put the battery on charge. Top it off with oil. I drain most of the oil out. Um, I'm not gonna change the oil just yet. I'm gonna change it after I get it running and hot. But I had a little bit of coolant from pulling the heads off. So I drained all that out. I'm going to top it off with some fresh oil. And get it running. And make sure nothing's leaking. Make sure it's running right. And then at that point, I can put the bubble cover on. i got a few bodywork deals I need to try to fix. Um, I want to try to maybe get new pieces but if I get it running I at least get it moved over I could put it over there somewhere but yeah let's let it down and uh, I'll get the I'll get the AC machine on it and... all right this will be the first attempt to try to start the car battery on charge about 20 minutes 30 minutes pull the vacuum on air condition it's holding I'm gonna try to crank it all the lights are working good time It's been about nine months since it ran.
That's all right. It's just working. Just turn off the battery, too. See if it's charging. I got it on for a hundred minutes. Time remaining. An hour and 28 minutes. Still holding. I'm going to turn it off. Might just go ahead and charge it. Find out with, uh, how much it takes. Alright, that pretty much wraps it up for this video sequence. I don't know how many videos this video, it, it, it has gone. It would be, I don't know. It took me a long time to get the car together. Working on it in the evenings after work. I still gotta clean it. I still gotta change the mirror. To talk to the body shop to see if they wanna paint it. And then uh, we'll go on to something else.